In this video, we are going to discuss about checksum. Checksum is an error detection technique. Generally, sender sends a message to the receiver, but there is a possibility that some of the bits in the message may be lost or some of the bits in the message may be changed. So in this occasion, in order to detect the error at the receiver side, uh, so receiver uses uh, uh, some a, an error, det error detection technique called checksum. Okay, so checksum is mainly useful for error detection. Uh, let's see what we happen in the checksum. Uh, at the sender side, what we happen is uh, initially the message is divided into n segments. The first point is the message is divided into n segments where each segment contains m bits. So let us assume that message is divided into n segments, where the size of each segment is m bits. Okay. So here the size of the message is 32 bits. It is divided into four segments. Segment 1, segment 2, segment 3, segment 4, where each segment size is 8 bits. Where each segment size is 8 bits. And the second step is add all the segments. So we have to add all the segments, okay? So one by one, okay? So first we add these two segments and we will get some sum, add that sum to the next two segment like that, okay? We add all the segments. We have four segments are there. So perform some operation on all the segments. And the third step is, if carry is one, okay? If carry is one, okay? After adding all the bits, after adding most significant bits, we will get some carry. If carry is one, then add it to the add it to the LSV of the sum. Okay, add it to the LSV of the sum. Uh, then after that, so after adding all the segments, we will get some sum value. If we complement the sum, then we will get the checksum. So how we will get the checksum? So we will get the checksum by complementing by complementing the sum value by complementing the sum value. And the last step is uh, the sender sends the message, uh, the sender sends all the four segments. The sender sends the entire message with the checksum. Okay. So message plus checksum will be sent to the receiver. Okay. Will be sent to the receiver. Now let us do all the activities. And after that, we will discuss about uh, at the receiver side what will happen. Okay. So first what will happen? We have to divide the message into n segments, where a segment contains 4 bits. So already it was done, 32 bits of the message is divided into 4 segments, where each segment size is 4 bits, okay? Uh, where each segment size is n bits, okay? So we have to add it to the LSB of the sum, LSB of the sum, okay? So next, first step is over. What is the second step? Add all the segments. So what is the first segment? 101, 1011. 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is the first segment. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And what is the second segment? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1. So after getting the sum, if the carry is 1, then what we have to do? If carry is 1, then add it to the least significant bit of the sum. Okay. So we have to add this one to the least significant bit of the sum. So 0 plus 1 means 1. There is no change in the remaining bits. So keep all of the bits as it is. So 0, 1, 0, uh, 5 ones. Okay. So first of two segments are added. Now let us add third segment to the sum. So what is the third segment? 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, double 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So you add, you add third segment to the sum. So 1, so 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay. 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1. 1 plus 1, 0 with a carry 1. Triple 1 means 1, 1. Triple 1 means 1, 1. 1, 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1. 1. Here we don't have any carry. So there is... Uh, there is no need to add it to the sum. What is the fourth segment? 
वट इज द फोर्थ सीक्वेंट वन वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन नेक्स्ट जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन सो वन वन जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो वन ओके नेक्स्ट वन प्लस वन मीन जीरो कैरी वन 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 जीरो विथ ए कैरी वन 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 जीरो विथ ए कैरी वन हियर द कैरी इज वन सो वी हैव टू एड दिस कैरी टू दी लीस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट ऑफ द सम सो जीरो प्लस वन मीन वन देर इज नो चेंज इन रिमेनिंग बिट्स सो जीरो डबल वन जीरो सो ट्रिबल वन वन ओके सो दिस इज द मैसेज दिस इज द सम दट वी गॉट After adding all the segments, so second step is over, third step is over. Let's see the fourth step. So how we can get the checksum by complementing the sum? So we get the checksum by complementing the sum. So checksum is equal to checksum is equal to. So complement the sum. So zero will be converted to one. One will be converted to zero. So one double zero, one one four zeros. Okay. So one double zero. One double zero zero zero. So this is nothing but checksum. So what is the checksum? Here I am writing the checksum. So one double zero one one double zero one. Next to four zeros. Next to four zeros. Okay. Now what we have it? The sender sends this message along with the checksum. Now at the receiver side we have five segments. So this is these four segments are nothing but the message. Whereas the fifth segment is nothing but the checksum. So now let us uh, write the steps uh, at the receiver side. Okay. So what we happen at the receiver side? Okay. What we happen at the receiver side? Okay. Uh, so here a receiver receives five segments. The entire message with four segments as well as checksum. Okay. So it performs some addition operation on all the segments. So we add all the segments. So totally how many segments are there? Five segments. So these are the four segments of the message, and the fifth segment is checksum. So add all the segments. Here also same thing. If carry is one, then add it to the sum. If carry is one, add it to the sum. Then add it to the, then add it to the MSB of the sum. Add it to the, I'm sorry, add it to the LSB of the sum. So same thing, same thing. Uh, next one is after performing the addition operation. We will get this sum. We will get this sum. Then, how we will get the checksum? We know how we will get the checksum. Checksum is obtained by complementing sum. Checksum is obtained by complementing the sum. If the result is zero, if the result is all zeros, so total we will get eight zeros. If the result is zeros, then that message will be accepted by the receiver. Suppose if the If the message if the message contains some ones, then it specifies that there is an error. So in this way, receiver detects the error with the help of this checksum technique. Okay. So now already all the bits are added. Already we have added the four segments. So after adding four the four segments, segment one, segment two, segment three, segment four. After adding all the segments, we got the result as complement of this checksum. Checksum. So zero. Double one zero four ones. Okay, so this is nothing but checksum. So checksum means what? Complement of sum. Okay, so that was already arranged. So after adding all the four segments, we got this message zero double one zero zero double one zero four ones. So now we have to add. Yeah, now these four segments are added. After adding these four segments, we got this sum. So now what we have to do? We have to add the fifth segment. That is nothing but checksum. To the sum value. So what is the checksum? One double zero, one four zeros. One double zero, one four zeros. Let us perform the addition. So one 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 one. Okay. So here, uh, so here are all the segments. Four segments are added. This is the result here. If the carry is one, so that was done here only. How we can get the checksum? We can get the checksum by complementing the sum. We can get the checksum by complementing the sum. So let us complement this sum. So if we complement the sum, what will happen? All ones are converted to all zeros. So now we got eight zeros. If the result is all zeros, then the receiver comes to know that it is the correct message. So there is no change in the message. So receiver accepts that message and provides the acknowledgement. Suppose if some of the bits are lost, then what will happen is the result may contain some. Uh, the result may contain some zeros. So if we complement uh, these zeros. Then what will happen? 
if we complement the message then what will happen so ones are converted to zeros zeros are converted to ones so we'll get the message as like this okay after complementing this one okay here the message contains some ones so receiver came to know that uh, some bits are changed in the message so receiver sends a message to the sender to transmit that message one more time so with the help of this technique we can do only the error detection error correction cannot be done in order to detect and correct the error we will use just the hamming code technique that we will discuss in the next